Hey, Scott Lear of the CruiseGenius.com. I've said quite a number of times it is safe to cruise during hurricane season. Why do I say that? Well, the cruise lines want to keep you safe. They don't want you in 40 mile an hour winds and 40 foot seas. Why? Because they don't want you being sick in your cabin and not spending money in the casino or having fun or having a good time. You're on vacation, you have your kids, your grandkids, and you want to come back happy and book your next cruise. Well, this coming weekend is looking kind of weird because there's been this tropical disturbance uh, heading toward the Bahamas now for a couple days. And there's so much uncertainty, which is very frustrating. I personally know a couple of weather forecasters here in Jacksonville, and I've talked to them. There's still no Invest 97B designation. There's no track. There's no nothing. Uh, and so, oh, the Sahara dust, you know, is keeping a lid on this thing. Or one of my other uh, weather uh, friends, uh, Shear, oh, the Shear is keeping. Okay, great. But I want to know what's going on because as I've said in my previous video, I'm the kind of guy that uh, keeps an eye on these things. I want to know ahead of time. I'm not the kind of person, ah, hey, yeah, whatever it is, it is. And we'll just deal, yeah, whatever. Why worry about it? Just, it you know, come as it goes. That's cool. That's just not in my personality. I uh, like to know things. I want to be ahead of things. I want to prepare. Now, let me tell you about preparing. Ask me if I've bought Pepto-Bismol at the dollar store. Yes, I have. Have I bought Dramamine at the dollar store? Yes, I have. So I have already prepared if there's rough weather, if there's rough seas, because I don't want to be seasick on a cruise ship. Now, you're going to say, hey, Scott, I'm going to say, hey, what? You're going to say, Scott, you're a Navy veteran. You should be used to, you know, the seas. Well, used to them, no. Have I been in them? Yes. When I was in the Navy on a very small uh, frigate, we hit 40, 50 uh, foot seas. And we hit 40 and 50 mile an hour winds. We were not a frigate. We were a submarine. We, we went down and we went up. And we went down green water and we came up. If you look at videos on YouTube of cruise ships or other types of ships or that movie, The Perfect Storm, that's what happened to me in the Navy. And I was very, I was young. I was like 19 years old, very seasick, threw up quite a bit. I was on an IV. Uh, it was no fun. But with modern cruise ships, for example, the ship that my family and I are going on is the MSC Seashore. The MSC Seashore is a big ship. It's a mega ship. You know, like 5,000 passengers, 1,200 or so crew, around 160,000 tons, if I'm not mistaken. So it's not a small ship. It is a big ship. They have stabilizers. And of course, with modern technology, uh, the captain's going to be able to keep us out of harm's way. Now, I will say, <laughs> last year on my Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady Cruise, I was looking at weather.com and the National Hurricane Service, and I saw it coming. And it was last year, I guess it was November, when my brother-in-law and I went on the Scarlet Lady out of Miami. I, I knew it. I knew it. I, I saw it. Uh, 10 to 14 foot seas, 40 mile an hour winds. And I was like, oh, no. And now the, the Scarlet Lady is not a mega ship. It's a medium-sized ship and around 2,500 passengers or so, 3,000 passengers, something like that. And so we, we bounced around a little bit, but the fact of the matter is there were not a lot of deck activities because it was raining. We couldn't go to Key West, the birthplace of my daughter. We couldn't go to Nassau, which was our backup port, but we did go to Bimini, which was fine. So cruising during hurricane season, I still recommend it. I'm still going on Thursday. I'm sure we're gonna have a good time, the food, hopefully. Uh, the service, hopefully. Uh, we all, everybody and their brother on the internet says the ships are beautiful. Hey, MSC, good job. The ships are beautiful. That staircase, the staircases, Sharkovsky or whatever, the diamonds, good job. But, you know, uh, from, from what weather.com and everybody else is saying, uh, like 70, 80% chance of rain in Nassau, 70 80% chance of rain during the day in Ocean K. And I really wanted to take my grandsons off the ship on Ocean K because I was there last year on the MSC Seashore. And Ocean K is one of my favorite 
uh, islands because just like Coco Cay, no tender, not like Half Moon Cay, where you have to take a, a small boat over there. There's a pier, so you just pull in and you get off the ship and you walk to the beach and there's food and there's sand and there's snorkeling and there's jet skis and Ocean Cay Marine Reserve, Marine Reserve, you know, protecting the environment, the coral, the flora, the fauna. Good job, MSC, on that. So stay tuned to thecruisegenius.com. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for live updates on uh, my upcoming cruise on the MSC Seashore with my grandsons. Uh, my one grandson is the cruise kid. And we'll be getting some video, we'll be getting some pictures, and we will be relaxing and having a good time. And uh, looking forward to seeing uh, Reverend Dr. E. Uh, he used to be on Carnival. And now he's over on MSC. I've met him once on a, a previous Carnival cruise. You know, you talk about cruise directors. Some people think they're just it, and some people, it's not even a one. But my favorite cruise director is Jamie D, who was on the Carnival Sunshine. Uh, she was the cruise director who started the military appreciation events where the, they would come in and free drink and honor the veterans, honor the military, which is a very smart thing to do. A well done carnival, thank you. Uh, Mr. Arison, uh, Christine Duffy, uh, all my friends at Carnival, thank you for that because as a Navy veteran myself, it's great, you know, it's really a very nice touch. And of course, MSC gives you a discount if you're military, Celebrity does, Island America does, Carnival does, so it's cool. Stay tuned to all my channels. Just type in Scott Lara, L-A-R-A -A in Google, my YouTube, um, everything else, you'll see it. Hope you have a great day and I'll be reporting from the MSC Seashore tomorrow, Thursday, and let's keep an eye on this weather disturbance uh, down there near the Bahamas. My gut tells me, you know, maybe it will turn into a tropical whatever. Who knows which way it's going to go up the, to North Carolina, gone to Texas. Uh, I don't know. The weather people don't know. But it's uh, important to keep an eye on it. Scott Lair, thecruisegenius.com. Have a great day.